Questions about Dominican clothing are very common. For instance, one commentator asked, why do Dominicans always wear hoodies? And another asked, why are you wearing a Harry Potter cape? I have even had someone come up to me on the street, look at me slyly and ask, what are you supposed to be? To be fair, it was October, and so the individual probably thought I was getting ready for Halloween. Anyway, these questions really boil down to, what are you wearing? And why do you wear it? Hello, my name is Father Ambrose Little, and welcome to Aquinas 101 Big Questions, Little Answers. Today's answer is that the clothing we Dominicans wear is called a habit, and we wear it because it's awesome. But to give a little more detail, the name habit is a word that comes from the Latin habitus, which has a variety of meanings. In this context, it means clothing. In normal American English, we tend to use the word habits to indicate a customary action or reaction developed over time. So normally, if I have a habit of going out for a run on Saturday afternoons, I mean I normally like to run at that time. This is not unrelated to the reason why our clothing is called a habit. The clothing is an indication of our lifestyle, which, in a way, has a set of habitual activities all its own. Our lifestyle is ordered to the worship and service of God, and in the preaching of his word. Because of this, the constitutions of the Dominican order say that we wear the habit of the order as a sign of our consecration. In a way, it is a more complicated version of a wedding ring, and it tells all who see us that we are consecrated to the service of God. By the way, this is true not just for Dominicans, but for all monks, nuns, friars, and other religious in the Catholic Church. What is the purpose of the various parts? Or as our questioners put it, why do we wear hoodies and Harry Potter capes? Well, as is the case with many practices in the Catholic Church, the parts of the habit have both a sign value and a practical value. I'll give an overview here, but for more information, you can read a great article on the Dominican habit written by a Dominican of the English province, Father Lawrence Liu, which I've linked to in the description below. So why do we Dominicans have hoods? Traditionally, Dominicans would travel on foot from place to place. So having a hood was useful for keeping our heads dry and warm. In fact, the hood is still used for this purpose from time to time, especially when the chapel is cold. And speaking of the chapel, the hood is also useful when meditating because it limits our vision so that we are not distracted by what may be going on in other parts of the chapel. In this way, the hood is like a medieval version of noise-canceling headphones, but for our eyes, not our ears. Because of this last use for the raising of the hood, or as we call it, the capoose, the wearing of the capoose is often a sign of prayer or of contemplation. So the Dominican saints, who are known for their great prayerfulness and contemplation, are often depicted with their hoods raised. The black cape that we wear, which we call a kappa, also has its practical uses, especially for the road. It keeps us warm and dry and can serve as a blanket in a pinch. It is also useful inside when things are cold, which was especially important in the days before central heating. Because the colder seasons in the global north also tended to coincide with the great penitential seasons of the church, Advent and Lent, the kappa is also understood to be a sign of penitence. Frankly, it also looks cool, so we tend to wear it for more formal occasions or when we're preaching. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Big Questions, Little Answers. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, may God bless you. To submit your big questions to Aquinas 101, use the hashtag AskAFriar in the YouTube comments and on social media. And don't forget to like and share with your friends, because it matters what you think.